guys, it's Adrienne for WDW Round along with Alyssa. Hi. And we wanted to, we figure planning for Disney during 2020 and 2021 has been a little bit weird. Yeah. So while we've done a park bag, what's in my park bag um, video before, which I'll link um, above and below, we thought we would kind of talk about the things that we've added or taken away from so that you can see some of the the best gear to take in during all of the kind of COVID restrictions mm -hmm. and guidelines. Yeah. So I'm going to go first because over the past couple of years, as my kids have gotten older, we are now park bag free people for the most part. My husband wears the oh so fashionable cargo shorts and I wear leggings with pockets and we stuff whatever we need in there. So literally I have four items to show you. <laughs> So the first thing is my phone case. Looks so unassuming, doesn't it? But it opens and it has a place right here for some cards. So I put my ID, my annual pass, and a debit card, either mine or our joint card or whatever, in there so that we have a backup to pay if we need to. And uh, yeah, that's literally all I bring. And then clearly we're in a pandemic. So I bring my own hand sanitizer. Mm -hmm. um, the park is great about having hand sanitizer all over entrances and exits to most attractions, but it gets really clogged, mm -hmm. which I've mentioned in videos before. So it's just easier to have your own. Mm -hmm. If you're going to have a snack, it's easier to have it right there. Just hand sanitize really quickly before you eat or get on or off an attraction. Chapstick, because I would die without chapstick. Mm -hmm. And then this is a new addition, actually just on this last trip. And I mentioned it in my pack with me video. But it is a reusable straw and cleaner. And it comes out just like this. Oh, sorry. I just washed it. Um, so you stick it under your thing. I really hate paper straws. And then it comes with... How does that work with lids? Because you I have... take the this lid is, off. This is... Okay. So you would just take... But what if you need lids? Like, what if you have a kid who you need a lid for the cup? Well, then they can just use paper straws. But the paper straws are really thick. I feel like this isn't much bigger. Okay. I just wondered because it's floppy. It is floppy. How that would be but it stands to up get to, to you know what I mean? putting it through the pocket. Yeah. Okay. And then in the little contraption is a cleaner. I folded it so it's a little bit hard. But it's got like a big end that fits through. You just wash it either in the bathroom or in a sink or something. And then slide that through and then it'll all fold back up and you've got your own straw. Now, if you like the reusable straws, if you like the paper straws at Disney, you absolutely use those, but I just hate how they disintegrate after a while. Yeah, we got into the habit of we just don't use straws. Yeah, we do that sometimes too. But Zachary needs a straw. Yeah. He's a straw kid. And I know so. some people do, and I prefer straws, but honestly, if it's a choice between paper no straw, straw and no a straw. paper straw, I'm just gonna not get a paper straw, and I'm yeah. just gonna drink it. Probably okay. better for the environment that way too. Yeah, probably. So, yeah. So anyway, yeah, that's all we take. Um, we they don't search your bags anymore. So no, that could change. They'll could probably change. start that back up once yeah. things start to. But relax I think a they've bit. implemented those metal detectors that can see through anything. Yeah. So the when we were there, I'm sure that it was like that in January too. But when we were there in February, you just walked through the metal detector, and the security guard had a what looked like an iPad, and he could see, and then he would pull people off to the side if they needed a closer look. Yeah. But um but I just we started going park bag free because it saved time because it's one less line to ride through. Mm -hmm. Um and now we just kinda like the convenience of not having to figure out what you're gonna do with it when you're on an attraction. Mm -hmm. But anyway, that's all that's all I got. Yeah. <laughs> so my husband and I are still park bag people because <sighs> I could probably go without a park bag, but my husband likes to take to, to carry everything. He he's one of those, but what if we need it kind of people. Yeah. So I still have a park bag. Which so, fair enough we used to be that kind of people. Yeah, so my park bag is still one of the thirty one bags. Which we love. Which we love because it's got two mesh pockets. So if you happen to buy a bottle of um, soda or you bring your own bottle of water, you can put that there, easy access. So these are just some of the things that we take that um maybe new maybe not um we always take um charging cables and at least two battery backups 
because I don't know about y'all, but my phone is really old and mm -hmm. the battery is not very great. So my husband needs a battery backup. I need a battery backup. And we both respectively need cables to go with those battery backups. So that is in our park bag. Uh, um, also something just like Adri, I take at least, I have two hand sanitizers in this bag from our January trip that I packed. I normally take at least two with one. We'll go through at least one probably a day yeah. because we don't want to stand in the lines for the hand sanitizer mm -hmm. after cues or before cues. So we go through about one of those a day. So those are great. Um, the other, let's see, I'll show you my phone case because we have very similar but different phone cases. So this is the one that I take. I bought it off of Amazon. Uh, I think you're actually the one that told me to mm -hmm. get this because I bought this originally for Disneyland, so I could be bagless. So it's a little bit different. It doesn't have the magnetic. It's got a zipper, but I have one of those too. Yeah. It has all of these, so I'm able to keep tickets. <laughs> That's from my Disneyland. I kept <laughs> it. Um, Universal tickets, uh, redemption cards, our gift card that we oh, take. Gift cards. Yeah, the gift cards that we take, that's just our refillable card. So anytime we go, we always buy gift cards at Sam's and then load them onto our MasterCard. And um, it's good to go. The only downside with this, and I will warn folks, if you ever see a weird green haze in my pictures, logs, yeah. it's because this little tab right here falls this way. Yep, 100%. And that's where the camera goes. <laughs> So, um, but I use this every trip, um, just for my personal use. The other addition that I have added because of the pandemic is this stuff. So this is Fog Gone. I bought it on Amazon. It is spray that prevents glasses from fogging up. So this has been a lifesaver. I don't know if you noticed any of my pictures from our January trip, but I struggle bust <laughs> in Magic Kingdom really, really hard <laughs> because of my glasses and because of masks. So each mask is different and um, we won't go into that because we've already done a mask video. But the only downside with being a glasses wearer is that, um, especially if you've got little nose pieces, like mine, rather than the ones that are just like molded into the frames. You can't necessarily put your glasses on top of your mask. So you get gaps right here and it causes your glasses to fog up. And I really struggled with the Disney masks because the- The band is so thick. The band, I guess you would call that, the seam around it was so thick that it, I could not close that, that gap. So I, even with the spray stuff, I struggled. Mm. So just kind of keep that in mind if you wear glasses. That's not something a lot of people think about because right. Florida is really humid. Where did you find that? Uh, my boss actually told oh. me about it because she was struggling. She wears glasses too. And so she had he heard about it on like the Today Show or something <laughs> like that. And so she had bought some and she was like, you got to get this. This is a, like a life changer. And so I did. And yeah, I, this is my second bottle. Wow. Because I use it. So you find often. it on Amazon? Yeah, you find okay. it on Amazon. It's not that expensive. This is a two ounce bottle and it's up to 400 pumps. And what I normally use it is whenever I'll take my glasses off, I'll spray it on both sides, let it sit for a little bit. So like 10, 15 seconds to kind of solidify on the frame. And then you just wipe it off with a clean yeah. cloth and it leaves a film. The only thing that sometimes it doesn't always work, it requires um, sometimes a reapplication. And sometimes if it's really, really humid, you'll still get a little bit of condensation around the tops of your glasses. Um, but it won't be fog necessarily, it's just like weird condensation. But anyway, um, so if you wear glasses, this is definitely something that you should invest in, especially with masks. So not necessarily after this mask, but who knows how long we're going to be actually wearing them. So um, definitely invest in that. The only other things in my park bag are, um, I will say this, I don't know if you had this in your video, um, but no. these are a lifesaver as well, especially if you go in like 11 months out of the year in Florida, <laughs> it's really hot. So this is a battery operated fan. So it's got little fan blades. I don't know if the battery is, yeah. I didn't know that. So it goes and it, it also has some good has, power to it. Yeah. It lasts a pretty long time. I think it's got at least a couple hours worth of juice in every, I think it takes double A's. And then it also, if you'll see, 
it's got a little nozzle for water. So this reservoir here, you can see there's the huh, little rubber cap or whatever. I can't get it to undo. But you can fill that with water and you spritz yourself and then you fan. So it's it's amazing. <laughs> I think they you got were, that at Walmart? No, this was Amazon as okay. well. So I bought two of them for our honeymoon because we went in October, which right. is still swelteringly hot. And so it was great. And with the water, now be wary that if you put it in like a tight bag, it may, you might accidentally press yeah. that and get water but in But it's the got the little keychain thing. You could add it to the outside. Yeah. So we ended up looping it around the bottom of our bag. Yeah. Um, but yeah, but it was. I love that it's purple and matches your bag. <laughs> they you come in a lot of different colors. Because um, I saw blue, I saw red, I saw green, so like primary colors. Um, but then I saw purple. I think they were like seven or eight dollars a piece, or you can get like multi packs. Totally worth the investment. And Love they're it. small, so they yeah. fit in a park bag really well. Better than those giant Mr. Fans at Disney sells. Yeah, yeah, it's fantastic. They're like thirty dollars. Now, granted, I mean they hold more water, but it just depends. Right. And then my last thing that I put in my bag is my little blue bag, <laughs> which y'all probably don't know me, so you don't know the significance of this bag. But this comes out. <laughs> this is in my purse all the time. It's got my chapstick, my lotion, my tweezers, my nail file, nail clippers, like everything that you don't want floating around the bottom of your purse. I take with me because sometimes you get a hangnail in Disney World <laughs> and you got to do something about it. So I always right. take that. I mean, it makes sense. Yeah. So what else are you going to do? You go to like first aid. Right. Yeah. yeah. You know? Yeah. So those are my park bag essentials. Really only a couple, like one, one addition um, to yeah, just the, the fog thing, the fog stuff, yeah. um, and, and then the hand sanitizer. Yeah, and I always um, pack an extra magic band mm -hmm. just in case you lose extra it. Extra mask, just in case it gets soiled. Yeah, extra magic band, extra mask, uh, a backup of that. If you're gonna take a bag, you might as well take what you might could potentially need. Right. But I've lost a magic band before. I don't yeah. remember if you remember. Yeah, I remember. Not. Yeah, I lost it on Star Tours or something like that. Yeah, maybe. Um, and so yeah. So, I always bring an extra magic band. Yeah. We bring multiples for Zachary. Yeah. Which you just, because you just never know. Yeah. He lost one at Wilderness Lodge. They were that kid. Yeah. Honestly. Yeah. So, anyway. So, that's our park bags. Uh, is there anything that you guys bring into the parks? Um, is there anything that... That you've changed? Yeah. Throughout 2020 and 2021? Or mm -hmm. plan to if you're going this year? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let us know in the comments for sure. Yep. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already, and we will see y'all next time.